Today through this video we are going to learn that how through photoelectric sensor a motor can be turned on and off. Here we have a motor. We have to control this motor through a sensor. For this motor first of all we have to do power wiring. For power wiring here we need a MCB. This MCB is of three pole. After this we have to use a contactor. Through this contactor only we will turn on and off this motor. Now see for protection of motor that is if motor is consuming more current than in this condition motor must be turned off. For this we are using an overload relay here. Friends this motor is a three phase motor. This is why here we have to use three phase power supply. Here we have RYB three phase. What we will do from R phase connect a wire and connect this with the MCB. Similarly we will do connection of other phase. Now in this MCB from outgoing terminal of this MCB connect a wire and provide incoming power supply to the contactor. Here I did connection of R phase. Similarly we will do connection of Y phase and B phase also. Now what we will do this overload relay here from outgoing terminal of overload relay connect a wire and provide power supply to motor. In this way we will do connection of Y phase and B phase also. Friends power wiring here is completed. Now we have to do control wiring. For controlling we are using a sensor here. So first of all let's have some information about the sensor. So look here. This sensor here is photoelectric sensor. The sensor works on 24 volt DC power supply. And the sensor is of PNP type. Friends you can see here in this sensor there are three wires. There is some meaning of each wire. What is it? Let's understand. This brown wire here. Brown wire is for phase supply. That is positive supply of DC power supply will be connected with this brown wire. Now this blue wire here. Blue wire is for negative power supply. That is we give negative power supply to this wire. Now if we connect phase supply with brown wire and connect neutral supply with blue wire then our sensor will start working. When the sensor starts working at that time if any person or object comes in front of this sensor then through this black wire output command is generated. So this black wire is for output power supply. Now see one more thing here. Through this black wire we will get positive supply or negative supply. It depends on type of sensor. That is if sensor is of PNP type then we will get positive supply. And if sensor is of NPN type then we will get negative supply here. Now we have to do controlling. For controlling first of all we will use a MCB. This MCB I have is of two pole. We are going to connect control supply with this. That is we will bring phase supply and neutral supply and we will connect these with incoming terminals of MCB. Now as you know this sensor works on DC power supply and connection which we did here is of 230 volt. So we will make a circuit here through which we can convert AC power supply into DC. If you want to convert AC power supply into DC then you have to use a transformer. This transformer will convert 230 volt into 24 volt. After this we will use four diodes here. This diode here will convert AC power supply into DC power supply. Diodes which we are using here is IN4007. After this DC power supply which will be given by diode is of pulsating type. To convert pulsating DC into pure DC we have to use a capacitor also. This capacitor here is of 470 microfarad. Ok then. Now we will learn how to do control wiring. Now what we have to do bring transformer here. To this transformer we have to provide phase supply and neutral supply. So what we will do this MCB here from outgoing terminal of phase supply connect a wire and connect this with phase supply of transformer. Now take neutral supply from this MCB and provide neutral supply to this transformer. Now as I told you we are going to use transformer which converts 230 volt into 24 volt. So output power supply we will get will be 24 volt AC power supply. To convert AC power supply into DC we are using diodes. Here we will connect these diodes in a way that it becomes bridge rectifier. Now what we will do these diodes here to provide power supply to these this TB here from this TB connect a wire and in between these diodes we will connect this wire. Similarly we will do connection of neutral supply also. So from here connect a wire and these diodes here below connect this wire in between this. 
DC power supply which will be given by these diodes is going to be used to operate sensor. To provide positive supply to this sensor, what we will do? Diodes we have these two short outgoing terminals of these diodes with each other and connect a wire from this with brown wire of sensor connect this wire. Now what we have to do through this sensor we have to turn on and off a contactor. Friends this sensor will give 24 volt DC as output power supply. That is why we have to use a relay or contactor here which will work on 24 volt DC power supply. So here we are taking a auxiliary contactor and we will give power supply to this contactor through sensor. For this what we will do in this sensor with black wire connect a wire and in this auxiliary contactor with A1 terminal connect this wire. Now what we have to do from this diode we have to bring negative supply also. For this what we will do these two diodes here short these with each other. After this connect a wire from here and in the auxiliary contactor with A2 terminal connect this wire. If you don't want to make circuit here for converting AC into DC then you can use SMPS directly. Now see here diode which is giving output power supply here is of pulsating type. For converting this pulsating DC into pure DC we will use a capacitor. Connect a wire from here and connect this wire with one terminal of capacitor. Now this second terminal here of capacitor we have to connect this with negative power supply. Friends always remember one thing whenever you go for connection of capacitor then always check the polarity of capacitor first. Like you can see here this capacitor we have in this capacitor here you can see minus symbol is there. This means that with this terminal we have to connect negative power supply. Now this sensor here to operate this sensor also we have to provide negative supply. For this loop a wire from here and to this sensor provide negative supply. Friends as in power circuit diagram overload relay was used for protection of motor. NC contact of the same overload relay is used in control circuit. For this what we will do this MCB here with phase terminal of this connect one wire and with 95 number terminal of overload relay connect this wire. After this overload relay we have with 96 number terminal connect one wire and in the auxiliary contactor with NO terminal connect this wire. I used NO contact of this auxiliary contactor. I used NO contact here because circuit diagram which we are making in this if a person comes in front of sensor or object comes in front of sensor then only motor will turn on. To control power circuit of motor we used a contactor. Now A1 terminal of same contactor we have to provide power supply to this terminal through NO contact. What we will do connect a wire from here and do the connection with A1 terminal. Now to A2 terminal of this contactor we have to provide neutral supply. For neutral supply connect a wire from here and connect this wire with A2 terminal of contactor. So friends control wiring here is also completed. Now understand how this sensor is going to work. If a person comes in front of this sensor then suddenly sensor will give output power supply. The moment power supply goes to auxiliary contactor then NO contact will become NC. When it becomes NC power supply flows from here and goes to this contactor and contactor will turn on. Finally motor gets started. If that object or person is removed from the sensing area of sensor then motor will turn off again. Friends I hope you like this video. Friends if you like this video then please do like share and comment on this video and if you didn't subscribe my channel yet please subscribe. Thanks for watching this video.